Hello and welcome to Hot Money Technicals on Bloomberg Quint Live, India's first digital live streaming business news service. This is the show which gets you a complete tap of all the stocks that are buzzing in trade. I am Darshan Mehta. Let's welcome our experts on the show. Joining us today are technical analyst and mentor Enes Fidai, Aditya Agarwala of Yes Securities and Amit Shah of India Bulls Ventures. Many thanks to all of my guests for joining me. Before we begin with the show with our experts, let's bring in Yash Upadhyay, who has a chart on Sriram Transport Finance. Uh, good afternoon, Yash. The counter seems to be looking weak over the past few days. Uh, does it indicate a sell signal? Um, no, in fact, uh, Darshan, uh, the RSI is indicating a buy signal for Sriram Transport. Uh, we've drawn a couple of uh, uh, green circles as well as the RSI and the lower panel. It's it's trading at about 1049 at the moment. Uh, it managed to go up to 1100 as well, but like you mentioned, there was weakness over the last uh, couple of trading sessions, and this is the weekly chart. Uh, as you could see, the, the mark of 1000 has been a strong support, uh, support zone for the counter, uh, although it is trading above that mark right uh, at the moment. Uh, sure, the RSI 2 has given a positive divergence. So uh, if you could zoom the RSI panel, as you could see, we have you joined the lows and you've seen that the RSI 2 is trending upwards with 1000 being a key support zone. Uh, probably you could add now or maybe uh, on dips and the stock could give a, a phenomenal return, at least as far as the Bloomberg terminal has suggested. Well, the last three times, it, how much did it move when, when so it, it supported? It, it, it always took support at about 1000 and it went up to 1200 or slightly above that and then it again retraced back. And historically, uh, four out of the last six times that this has managed to happen uh, not once would you have lost the money because the other two times would have been a no loss trade and the four times that it managed to give positive returns the stock has managed to run up 6.36 percent over the next one month period. okay many thanks for that yes we'll certainly watch out for Sri Ram transport uh, NS is that something that you're spotting yeah, absolutely agree with you yes. uh, only issue is right now in extreme short term when you are looking at a trade you should be buying around 990 985 okay and keep a tight stop loss below 978 or 77 that should be good enough and um, uh, it seems to be taking that kind of support on a uh, like you know long term charts. So. But but you see the counter coming close to thousand level. So if someone yeah, wants it, to take a short position, them, yeah. Yeah, at least for a very very short right time. Right now also it has uh, traded very badly like last two days. So for uh, a trader, can they take a short position up to levels of uh, they thousand? They can take uh, absolutely. And at that take. level, go long. And and, they, and uh, around nine ninety nine eighty five, they can go long also and square up their short positions also. Okay, Aditya, is that something that you would recommend or you have a different? No, strategy? I wouldn't recommend going short uh, because. Uh, stock is coming down to fill up the gap uh, day before yesterday stock opened with a gap up opening when the entire market was a buzz and uh, in trade today stock is actually coming down just to fill up the gap area it's almost done that uh, the gap fills up around 1035 mark it's almost at 1050 so just 15 rupees away from that i would rather look to buy if once the stock comes down to close to about 1040 1035 uh, put a stop somewhere around 950 to about 1000 zone, uh, that will be my stop loss and look for a northward target of 1180 to about 1200. Okay, the so similar strategy, accumulate on decline yes. is the strategy. Yes. Amit, is that something that you yeah, think? I would also agree uh, with them. You know, 980 has been a good base uh, around the 980 zone. Is Broadly, this uh, stock is, you know, trading uh, in a large range between 1300 and 980 on the downside. And we are pretty much close to the lower end of the, uh, you know, end of the range. And uh, uh, as uh, Yash also said, I mean, uh, it's, it's you know, uh, uh, filling the gap uh, in the near term. I would actually look to long the stock. Uh, medium term, uh, I think uh, it should head towards 1200 on the upside. Okay, so similar strategies, uh, buy on declines is, is the stock that's where it's uh, Shriram Transport that we're speaking about. Uh, and uh, that's the strategy. It, it's down uh, almost 35 rupees today, but another 15, 20, 30 rupees, whatever, 50 rupees even, uh, uh, is, is the level probably, uh, you know, you should start accumulating on those declines. But let's uh, begin with the first chart on hot money. And NS Fidai has a buy call on Ultratech Cement. No doubt, most of the cement counters did rally significantly the day uh, the exit poll uh, numbers came out the day. In fact, after that, uh, cement as a pack did well, but uh, Ultratech was one of them uh, why are you bullish on this NS? well i have many reasons to be bullish one is see if you see the line chart it is uh, at the lifetime high uh, it has crossed over and closed above uh, any uh, levels so, like that is one thing the weekly chart yeah uh, this is monthly chart monthly. actually and then you have adx and MACD. both are into positive zone if you see uh, this is adx which is uh, showing like it is crossed uh, like you know in the bull zone and it is trying to give a breakout on the higher side. Hmm. And uh, this kind of movements give huge, uh, like, you know, moments whenever they do. There could be some whipsaws in between when the stock consolidates. Yeah, but I think just, just if you can explain to our yeah. viewers uh, what this ADX indicates, this see, red and... There green. is a red line, uh, like a red line is basically, you can just in simple parlance, like for layman, you can say it's bears. Hmm. 
and green is bulls. Hmm. So if, if uh, bulls are on the higher side, hmm. they are controlling the stock. Okay. If uh, bears are on the lower side, that means uh, they are not uh, in the position hmm. to control anything. So whenever red is up, that means bears are in control. Whenever green is up, bulls are in control. Okay. Okay. That's CDX. Okay. Yeah. So that's in very simple language, like, you know, rather not going to jargon. And then you have MACD, which is also crossing, like if you see, it is giving a crossover. Hmm. And uh, it is in the bull zone, it is above 100. So again, that is uh, above, uh, like, you know, uh, median line. So again, there is a good uh, kind of, uh, like, you know, positivity over there. Then if you see volumes, volumes are also rising very exponentially. And uh, there's a monthly chart and the month is yet to close. And if you see earlier, the volumes are, like, you know, picking up, but not seriously, but this month is quite uh, good. Now we can have a daily chart also here. Yeah, if you see on daily chart, the stock has taken strong support on this line. Hmm. Around, uh, like, you know, so I would say you can accumulate between 44 and 40, uh, 4350, approximately in that area and uh, 4370 you can say and keep a tight stop loss at 4340. Hmm. On the upside the stock has potential to go up to 5700 but it's a positional call, it's a long term call and uh, we expect that to happen in 6 months probably. So it's at 4600 right now, not buy at this level, wait for you another You can buy and you can keep on adding, like I would say buy right now, hmm. add on dips between 44 and 40, uh, 4370 and uh, you know means hold for longer term at 5700. For the like you know, big 40, time targets. 4340 is the strict stop loss. Okay, thanks for that, uh, uh, NS. Uh, so, positive view coming in on Ultratech uh, Cement. Uh, Amit, uh, are you positive on Cement Pack and uh, Ultratech as well? Yes, uh, Ultratech, in fact, I had covered some time back uh, in, mm. in the same show and I, I continue to like the stock. Uh, in fact, Cement as a pack is showing a lot of momentum, even mid cap uh, uh, cements are also showing momentum so I think the rally is quite broad based as far as the sector is concerned uh, uh, for Ultratech particularly I have a 5000 plus kind of a target on this one uh, one can keep a stop of 4430 and uh, even can buy at this price and maybe another use two to three percent kind of dips to accumulate the stock for uh, targets of 5000 and upwards is this the best stock in the cement pack yes, you said I that you so. uh, uh, probably I like the uh, stock Okay, that's yeah. the view that's coming in. Uh, what about you? Uh, I would not buy at current levels, probably wait for some correction to kick in in the stock, then probably get into it. Uh, close to about 4400 to about 4450, that will be my first accumulation zone. If stock breaks 4400, then probably I'll look to add it around 4300 on the downside. Uh, so I, I see some bit of profit booking in Ultratech uh, because uh, there are negative divergences uh, on the daily charts plus on the weekly chart. I see stock setting off from the highs after making highs of 4800. So some profit booking uh, is on the cards as far as Ultratech cement is concerned, but on the longer term time frame definitely the trend is upward bias and I would look to accumulate the stock on declines close to about 4400 to about 4300 and look for an outward target of 5000 then once it corrects. Okay so I think the consensus view is uh, buy uh, probably at this level buy on lower levels uh, that's the across view that's coming in but uh, the view is uh, 5000 probably is the potential target on Ultratech cement <coughs> and cement as a pack is looking rather strong in trade. The next chart is from Aditya Agarwala and it's on Blue Star. Uh, let's have the chart out, Aditya, if you can come out. Uh, and uh, it's a bullish, bullish call, I bet. Yes. Uh it's pretty much clear from the chart uh, and the trend lines that I've drawn. So it's broken out uh, from an ascending triangle pattern. Uh, what is an ascending triangle pattern is uh, the highs are similar. So I join the highs, uh, I get a horizontal uh, trend line and I join the recent lows uh, which has made a higher low. So this was a low close to about 520 and then it made a higher low of about 580, 590. I joined both the lows and I get an upward sloping trend line. So this is called an ascending triangle pattern. A uh, couple of weeks back it has broken out uh, from that ascending triangle pattern and in previous week it actually came down to test the neckline and this week again it's mm. resumed its upward trajectory. Uh, so this is a classic chart wherein a stock breaks out from an ascending triangle pattern then declines to test the neckline and then resume its upward uh, momentum. So this is one of the key reasons uh, why I'm bullish on the stock. Along with that if I take a look at the RSI, uh, RSI continuously makes higher lows uh, as the stock is making higher lows. So this is in confluence uh, with the price momentum and recently stock didn't even test uh, below 50 and from there uh, RSI has turned up. Uh, so overall, uh, this tells me that this bullish setup, a strong bullish setup on the charts. Uh, I would uh, buy at current levels, uh, probably look to accumulate even on uh, small declines. Uh, put a stop somewhere around uh, uh, 710, look for targets of 820 to about 850 on the upside. 
Okay, and it's a positional trade or it's a quick trade? It's more of a positional trade because if you take a look at the stock, stock generally gives you small <laughs> moves on the upside. It's not, it gives you big move on the upside. So I would want to buy at current levels, look to accumulate on another 5 to uh, 2 to 5 percent decline and wait for targets of. Okay, uh, and what's the paper. purple and pink line? Is the uh, so these is? are the moving averages. Okay. These are the moving averages. Uh, uh, they are now converging together and, and this uh, uh, line is on the um, on the verge of crossing over this. So this will be a confirmation. The moment it crosses 800, I, I believe this, uh, this line will gradually cross over, which will be a confirmation of the full trend. Okay, 756. Thanks so much for that, Aditya. Uh, Amit, uh, Bajaj, uh, Blue Star, sorry, uh, yeah. uh, at 756, what's your sense? Yeah, I mean, uh, see, uh, the stock had uh, broken its multi-year uh, uh, range uh, above 535, made a new high, retested it successfully, then again went into a range. Recently, also, it has uh, successfully broken about an inverse head and shoulder on the weekly charts retested it successfully again ma made a new high it's doing all the right things uh, i would say uh, my sense is uh, this stock is uh, likely to make further new highs and head towards 900 on the upside okay ns what's your sense on I agree with both of them actually uh, uh, but i would like to like you know uh, just uh, be very careful at this level needs to cross 775 on the higher side if it wants to give a breakout on <laughs> daily charts and on the downside needs to sustain above 730 725 if it does that, then you can keep a stop loss around 718 and you can go long. And um, like expect in extreme short term 840 if it crosses 775. <coughs> okay, that's the view that's coming in on uh, Blue Star. The next chart is from Amit and it's on uh, just dial. It's a buy call. Remember, the counter is trading at a fresh 52 week high. It's been doing rather well for itself. Uh, let's have the chart. Uh, why are you bullish on just dial? So, uh, uh, just before talking about this phase, I'll talk about this phase. So, sure. this was an entire two year downtrend for Just Dial. So, uh, it has been a too long year downtrend for Just Dial. Now, this phase uh, from here, if we see, it's been a two year consolidation. And what we are seeing is a beginning of a new up cycle. So, what we have seen here is a down cycle. Down cycle now. Uh, again into a two years of consolidation so stock has probably digested a lot of news flow its own performance whatever uh, uh, you know corporate developments etc uh, it has digested this phase very well and now is in in a new phase of its uptrend of course the stock has risen a lot uh, even uh, i mean this stock is actually just flying and uh, not even giving in a proper entry point as we said uh, today also it has risen a lot so i would advise uh, you know to buy on declines but this is a very very good setup i would say these are the kind of bases you need uh, especially after uh, you have seen a long downtrend you know it's not that that stock is hurrying into some kind of a move, you know, developing. Uh, it, it has taken its own time, digested the news flow, and uh, probably these are the kind of matured kind of uh, moves uh, that, uh, you know, you see which generally tend to last and uh, uh, generally, you know, tend to give uh, healthy returns uh, going ahead, basically. Okay, so uh, it's at 742 right now. Uh, right. What's the strategies that one has uh, to employ? Uh, you know, uh, the stock is looking uh, quite strong, but uh, I, I would look to buy it on declines, maybe to towards 630 to 650 actually as we say uh, it has e even went a bit ahead of that because even so that today also it's a 100 rupee correction that you are anticipating today also it has risen a lot uh, uh, you know uh, today uh, but my sense is you know one can even uh, uh, actually look for a smaller dips also to accumulate uh, it, it may not even come towards that uh, 650 region is what my uh, sense is so one can even uh, I'm, I'm quite bullish on this stock uh, uh, my sense is uh, this can uh, cross 1000 rupees on the upside. Okay, what's the time frame? Uh, the 1000 rupee time frame can happen uh, over the next 3 4 months. Uh, the near term target is actually 815, but uh, thousand as i said uh, what, what's the strict stop loss that one has to keep uh, here? I, I would keep a stop loss uh, below uh, I, I would keep a stop loss of 619 which uh, definitely is uh, away from here but i do see the stock heading towards thousand rupees so one can utilize maybe for a five percent kind of dip uh, on this stock which can uh, see it's a high beta stock so you you, you can get those kind of dips uh, uh, in the stock so my only thing is earlier also if you see it's gone about this line and it has corrected it's tried multiple times correct exactly. here also it's gone now it's correct here also it's corrected correct uh, why do you think that this time the move will sustain i mean that that, that is what is important if you see uh, see this, this is a weekly chart if you see it, it had tried multiple times 
uh, you know, crossing uh, this zone. But uh, e even here, it, it did try uh, crossing this, but it it failed to, you know, uh, close above it. Close above it. Uh, what, and what we are seeing is the dips are uh, not that uh, l larger, which says that the, the bullish uh, control over the stock is still there. And we are seeing large candles, uh, large follow-up uh, buying happening. Uh, and uh, the range breaking on the upside on a sustained basis, which tells you that uh, uh, the uh, power is uh, shifting towards the bull side uh, on the stock. Okay, many thanks for that, Amit. So, Thank just dial is the stock, uh, and it's, oh, you also have a buy on just dial. Yeah, so, two I of our uh, guests have just dial. So, uh, that's <laughs> one stock that you definitely have to watch out for. Uh, we'll have you also talk about it, and then Aditya can give his verdict. Yeah, you can have and talk about it. Okay, fine. This is your chart, right? Yeah, this is my chart. Basically, if you look at it, uh, he's done a triangle, and I am seeing it as a cup and handle. If you okay. see this, um, many times, uh, like he discussed, and uh, we see. Uh, the stock has actually kept on, you know, resisting in this zone around 600 ish and then uh, it had fallen and uh, very deeply but if you see the falls also every time when it has recovered it has recovered very sharply and these were false breakouts hmm. so whenever a stock wants to make a big move uh, usually what happens is the false breakouts removes the weak players hmm. and then they tend to have like see if you see here also we had a very strong false breakout here hmm above 600. The stock had gone up uh, up to almost 676 and, and then retraced back up to 540. Hmm. Now, uh, if you look at this uh, uh, this kind of pattern, whenever the stock removes the players and then makes a huge move hmm. and uh, this is happening in like in just few days, right? Hmm. So, that is the reason like, you know, the stock has a potential like in two weeks with like this week is yet to uh, get over and it has crossed. So, there is a huge momentum here. And uh, like if uh, this kind of uh, like you know falls breakdown also if you see this there was a uh, range here and this is where this uh, you know means uh, we believe the human element uh, of you know creating psychological greed and fear hmm. so here it was greed and here it is fear where people uh, like you know who are weak players or who do not do not understand much of technicals or even even if you know technicals uh, the like you know the, this kind of moves remove uh, like you know the players uh, hmm. because of the fear that it may fall further and it may go down all the way like you just uh, uh, asked uh, like you know my friend over there so this is the reason like you know we need to be careful whenever and whenever the stock gives a breakout like this like you know above uh, the trend line area and within the like after uh, you know recovering from this consolidation area and that too in a short time like if you see this there were almost like 8 to 10 weeks candle mm -hmm. and which which was re, uh, like you know everything was retraced in just two two candles now mm -hmm. that shows the power momentum with the bulls mm -hmm. and that's the reason like we are pretty bullish like both of us and we believe i also believe the stock has potential at least to go up to 900 in extreme short term mm -hmm. and that can i have assumed to uh, like you know it can go in within maybe six months but it can happen in few days also or few weeks also i think the stock is seeing uh, lots of re because of uh, it becoming one of the only listed stocks in um, the space of like you know payment bank mm. like they have JD pay app mm. which is going to be like you know there are no other listed stocks from that area so that is creating a buzz in the stock mm. and uh, like you know um, uh, on the upside the potential is minimum 900 in extreme short term while it can go much higher also up to 1200 and higher also but uh, uh, let's assume right now well, what's the strategy it's at 750 right yeah, now so you can so buy right now and um, have a provision to add a SIP. So what, what's, the, what's the strict stop loss here? Uh, I would give it at 638. 638. And buy nearer to, like if it uh, dips because of some volatility in the market, like tomorrow is a big event. And if there is some volatility, you get it around 650, sh it should be bought. And every dip should be bought. Maybe you can uh, create a SIP for yourself mm. and you can uh, accumulate this stock on a like weekly SIP kind of thing rather than wait for a monthly SIP. Okay. Because it may not come so sharply for a longer term and stay there. It may keep on uh, moving upwards only. Okay, the nine momentum nine. that we see here. Okay, many thanks for that, Dennis. Uh, and finally, Aditya, what's your sense? Would you be as bullish? A stock has already run up uh, from 600 to 750. Uh, th there's no doubt about that. There's extreme bullishness in the stock. Uh, look at the volumes. They've been extremely high in the in the bull run that we've seen in the stock for past two trading sessions. The only thing to notice out here is what risk to reward ratio if you buy at current levels of 750. If I'm looking at a target of 900, uh, which is very much possible on the cards in the next uh, coming weeks, uh, then I can definitely buy at current levels, put a stop somewhere around uh, 640 to about 630. That is my 100 rupee downside from here. And if I'm looking for a target of 900, uh, that's a decent upside uh, from current levels, uh, like 150 rupees, more than 150 rupees on the upside. So uh, yes, I can go long <coughs> even at current levels, uh, though the, uh, the comfort level is uh, slightly away from, from the breakout point, which was around 630 to 640. 
uh, still uh, 900 is possible on the cards. On the daily chart, stock is sitting at extreme overbought levels. So expect the stock to cool off a little bit in a day or two. So uh, what level would you buy it if, if you if you want if if you have time and you would you wouldn't mind buying the counter lower at what level would somewhere you somewhere on 660 to about 680 is a good entry point for me. And what would be a strict stop loss for this? Uh, 630 will be my strict stop loss. Uh, if 630 is broken, I'm out of the trade. Uh, and uh, 900 on the upside will be my target. Okay, many thanks for that. So I think it's a consensus bullish call that's coming in, but uh, uh, I think all the analysts agree that it's, it's run up significantly. So we'll buy the counter now, buy on decline. The strategy can be up to you, but I think the consensus targets uh, that are coming in uh, probably over the next one or two series could be in the range in excess of 900 to 1000. So that's the view on just dial and two of our guests have recommended it today. So that should be on your radar. The next chart is from Aditya and it's a buy call on Bajaj Electric. So let's have the chart. I don't think we've had this chart before. Uh, we've spoken about this company before on Hot Money, but yes, uh, why are you bullish? So uh, this is a weekly chart of the stock uh, and I've again uh, joined the highs, uh, recent highs uh, that the stock made on the weekly charts and I've joined the recent lows. I, I get a beautiful downward sloping uh, wedge pattern. Uh, a downward sloping wedge pattern tells you uh, generally stock breaks out on the upside uh, from, a, from a downward sloping wedge pattern. It's a bullish pattern. Uh, now, if you take a look at the candle uh, that the stock has made in the last three trading sessions, it's a bull candle. Uh, stock did run up from the lower end to the upper end, then, then it corrected, took support at 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level, and from there it's resumed its upward trajectory. So it's almost on the verge of a breakout uh, from this resistance line, which is somewhere around, I, I guess, uh, 500, uh, uh, 575 would be the breakout point for the stock. If it breaks out above that, it's a, it's a no-brainer that the stock will head higher. Uh, if I move on to the daily chart, stock has already broken out. Uh, from a from a downward sloping channel so okay. one confirmation is already uh, in place that is in trade today it's broken out from a downward sloping trend line from a channel and the second confirmation uh, is that the stock has taken support in the mm. correction at 38.2 percent Fibonacci retracement level and it's turned upwards the third and the final confirmation will be a breakout above this point so either I buy at current levels and add on uh, if the stock comes down to 38.2 percent Fibonacci retracement level or add on above the breakout and in any case the stock uh, I feel is poised uh, to make a higher highs now, if I come uh, take a look at the RSI, uh, RSI again uh, is, is a major factor in deciding uh, whether the trend is up or not. Uh, so out here again, RSI is making higher lows and recently stock RSI again took support at 50, which is a very mm. strong level and from there it's turned up. So overall, it tells me that the stock is uh, is making higher highs, higher lows and it should be bought uh, for targets of around uh, 600 uh, I'll just tell you the targets. Yeah, it's 565. Five, uh, somewhere around uh, 630 to about 650 on the upside and put a stop somewhere around 525. Okay, many thanks for that. Uh, Ritya, uh, NS, what's your sense on uh, Bajaj Electricals? Yeah, I agree with him, but uh, would love to buy it a bit deep, cheaper, maybe around 545, 525, between that area, if it comes to that. And uh, on the higher side, it needs to cross above 590. Okay. If it does that, then you can expect the price to go all the way up to 700 plus. Hmm. So uh, the stock has huge potential. Um, like, you know, one should buy and keep an accumulation uh, uh, you know, means provision uh, bit, between 514, uh, 540, 525 and keep a tight stop loss below 510. Okay, and Amit, what's your sense? Yeah, I mean, uh, whichever time frame, if you see, the stock is definitely in a uh, strong uptrend, you know, and uh, uh, I would keep a stop b below 520 and expect uh, levels of 640 on the upside. The near term support is around 545 to mm -hmm. 548 region. So one can utilize those kind of small dips. Uh, to accumulate the stock and uh, one can expect 640 on the upside. See, broadly, Darshan, uh, of course, I mean, uh, if, if, if a stable government, uh, the expectations are there. We are seeing a lot of uh, uh, activities started uh, in the mid caps and my uh, sense is that uh, even in, in a favorable scenario, the Nifty may not have a big upside, but there is a large catch-up to be uh, had uh, in the mid and the small cap end of the market, which I would uh, say that once uh, the stable government is there on expected lines, we can see a very, very sustained uh, rally coming up on uh, the broader market. So, uh, I mean, probably uh, we are seeing just the start of uh, that uh, ahead of the elections. Okay, and uh, that's the view that's coming in on Bajaj Electric. And the last chart, at least from an analyst, is uh, Canada Bank. And that uh, Amit has a buy call on it. Let's have the chart. Uh, Amit, why are you uh, buying? Uh, why are you bullish on uh, Canada Bank? Uh, and what's the logic? Uh, See, uh, what what we are uh, aiming here is an early entry into the trend. Uh, broadly, if we see the stock is trading between a range of 200 and 300, uh, this is the top end of the range. Uh, what we are seeing, uh, uh, yeah. if we see it on the weekly chart, it's even uh, visible better that uh, it's trading b b b broadly in a range of 300 and 200 on the downside. 
Now, this is a flag pattern, uh, you know. Uh, of course, it's a bit deeper, but still, it, it is a flag pattern, uh, and the stock has broken out of it and is sustaining. It's a gap up which is being sustained uh, above it. So, uh, the stop here is uh, the risk reward is very much in favor. Uh, in the first move, one can expect a move towards 290 to 300 on the upside. But once it manages to stay above 300, uh, you know, it has a, a much steeper target on the upside. So, it's a good entry point uh, at this point of time. Okay, uh, what would be a strict, strict stop loss sure. for this? So, uh, the stop loss for this one is uh, 236 on the downside. The first target is, uh, you know, in, in the range of 290 to 300. But once it maintains above 300, it can go as high as 380 on the upside. So, it's a very good entry point at this point of time. Okay, thanks so much, yeah, Amit. Uh, Aditya, uh, Canada Bank, 260, what's your call? Uh, yes, I see the, an upward momentum in the stock. There's definitely a trend reversal, uh, an immediate trend reversal. Uh, though the stock is yet to make a higher high, which is uh, 300. So, my first target will be 300 if I buy at current levels. And I'll put a stop somewhere around uh, 240. Okay, and it's a similar strategy. Absolutely agree. I keep a stop loss at around 233 and uh, needs to cross 272, 273. If it does that, then you can expect 300 in extreme short term. Okay, so consensus bullish call coming in on Canada Bank. And before we end the show, let's bring in Yash Upadhyay, who is having a chart on DCM Sridham. Uh, Yash, what does the chart indicate? Um, another uh, another good chart to watch out for DCM Shriram. Now this time around, it's a sell signal by the RSI. Uh, the positives with respect to the earnings and uh, the near normal monsoon that seems to be factored in because if you take a look at the weekly chart, we've seen uh, last four to five consecutive weeks of strong up move, and with that, the stock is now trading somewhere around the mark of 601 to 602. Uh, that is also where it has is uh, has a very uh, you know stiff resistance. Uh, take a look at back in the month of December last year. Uh, that is where the high was it touched that twice and then it came back to the level so close to about 300 uh, and it has been in, in this range. Uh, so 621 is the resistance mark for the stock. Uh, I believe that from here on it could go up to those levels but then again it would not be able to hold on to it and the RSI 2 in the lower panel on the weekly charts is, has gone above the mark of 70 which indicates that the, bot, that the stock is overbought and every time that this has managed to happen the stock has seen a swift correction. So from 600 and, uh, 601 or 620 even if it goes up to those levels it could be a sell on rise kind of a strategy when it comes to DCM Shira. Okay, and what's the uh, earlier trend indicating? Uh, so, so that's in six out of the last eight times that this has in fact managed to happen. Uh, the stock has managed to fall 15 and a half percent over the next one month period. So, uh, the RSI is quite effective as far as this uh, the stock is concerned. Okay, Nes, what's your sense? You yeah, agree absolutely with Yash, and um, it's a beautiful like you know his observation is very good. Uh, 620 and 625 area is a area where you need to be very careful and start booking your profits if you are long in this stock, and maybe keep a provision to add. On dips again around 510. Okay, Aditya. Uh, so 630 is definitely a resistance as uh, everybody's pointing out on the chart. But if the stock manages to cross above 630, I would look. I would give more weightage to price rather than looking at the RSI because uh, in the in the past also RSI has crossed levels of 90 as well when the stock made all-time highs. So this time around it can also. It's it's below 80 right now. So there's more scope as far as the RSI is concerned on the upside on on the weekly chart on the monthly chart. Uh, 6.30 is a resistance, so definitely if somebody is holding on to it, book partial profits around 6.30 and if, wait if, to see how stock reacts around 6.30. If it crosses, continue to hold. If it fails to cross, book out complete profit. Okay, Amit, what's your sense? Yeah, so 6.30 is obviously a very uh, obvious resistance zone. So uh, one can see uh, some of maybe, you know, 4-5% kind of a downside, short-term downside coming in, some sort of profit booking coming in. But I think the underlying trend is very strong. Uh, the volumes uh, are also uh, quite strong along with this. As a whole, if you see, uh, this also, uh, I mean, of course, it's a diversified stock, but it's also mainly also into sugar. And if you see, the sugar stocks are doing quite well. Uh, eventually, I, I do see this stock uh, breaching its all-time highs and uh, heading much higher uh, about that. So, yes, a trading play around that 630 can, uh, is always possible, 4-5% kind of a downside. But beyond that, I am actually looking at the stock to do much better going ahead. Okay, that's the view that's coming in on DC, <coughs> DCM Sriram. But with that, it's a wrap on today's edition of Fort Money. Let me thank all my guests for coming in. Uh, NS, Aditya, Amit, thank you so much for coming in today. Ask PQ comes up next, stay tuned to Bloomberg Quint.